Hello, I'm uh, Hyosu Kim, HS Kim, from Seoul National University Hospital. Uh, I'm a principal investigator of a series of host uh, randomized controlled trial, which is involved in interventional cardiology. Today's topic is uh, the presentation of a recently published host exam randomized controlled trial. As a background, the guideline recommend uh, antiplate monotherapy using aspirin as a chronic maintenance period after PCI-VDS. And clopidogrel was recommended as a alternative medicine in case of aspirin intolerance or problem with aspirin. But there's no uh, uh, solid evidence to compare head to head between uh, aspirin and clopidogrel as a chronic maintenance monotherapy after uh, PCI VDS. Thus, uh, we try to get uh, answer uh, with this issue. We started this uh, biggest uh, randomized control trial ever done in South Korea. Uh, we uh, screened, uh, we enrolled more than uh, 5,500 patients who were event free for six to 18 months. In other words, 12 months plus minus six months under the APT, dual antiplate therapy after PCI with DS. Uh, we randomized them into either aspirin monotherapy versus uh, clopidogrel monotherapy and followed them up to two years. And we analyzed uh, primary composite outcome, a patient-oriented composite outcome. That includes all-cause death, myocardial infarction, uh, stroke, the admission to, to ACS, and significant bleeding. That is BARC type five, or three. The primary endpoint POCO was 7.7% in aspirin group versus 5.57% in clopidogrel group. About 27% risk reduction by clopidogrel. That was statistically significant. We also checked the secondary outcome, in other words, a thrombotic composite outcome that is uh, uh, composed of a cardiac death, myocardial infarction, ischemic stroke, readmission to the ACS, and stent thrombosis. That was 5.5% in aspirin versus 3.7% in clopidogrel group. 30% risk reduction by clopidogrel, that was significant. The other second endpoint was any bleeding that is composed of bark type three, five, and two. The instance was 3.3% in aspirin group versus 2.3% in clopidogrel group about 30% risk reduction by clopidogrel, uh, that was also significant. Uh, in, in patients who were event-free for around one year under JPT after PCI with DS, clopidogrel monotherapy was better than aspirin monotherapy in terms of uh, composite patient-oriented composite outcome, as well as a thrombotic or bleeding outcomes. Uh, thus, uh, we can consider now uh, clopidogrel is uh, alternative or maybe better option than aspirin monotherapy as a chronic maintenance period after PCI with DS.
Uh, there are two possibilities. Uh, several uh, uh, reviewers or commentators uh, thought this is kind of play of chance finding. Uh, thus, uh, if we continue the longer follow of this court, the difference may disappear. But the other group consider such kind of difference, lower numeric uh, number of death in aspirin group may be explained by long uh, uh, term uh, hypothesis that aspirin is associated with lower instance of cancer, a lower instance of cancer deaths, especially in colorectal cancer. Thus, to solve such kind of a debate, two possibilities, uh, we try to uh, do uh, the same analysis in a longer uh, period. Uh, luckily, uh, now uh, the median follow-up uh, duration of this court, more than 5,500 5, patients, is about five years. Thus, uh, we started to collect the uh, results at the time point of median five years follow. Yeah, there are uh, debates regarding the uh, clopidogrel resistance in East Asians. Thus, uh, the efficacy of clopidogrel may be different between East Asians and the Caucasians. But uh, such kind of clopidogrel resistance in East Asian is probably due to uh, laboratory results. When we um, analyze the platelet reactivity under clopidogrel medication, the numeric uh, uh, value of East Asians are definitely higher than that of Caucasians. Thus, we say that uh, there is a definite a clopidogrel resistance in East Asians. But actually, the thrombotic event in East Asians in daily practice under uh, clopidogrel medication after PCI was definitely lower in East Asians than Caucasians. Thus, even though there is a laboratory resistance against the clopidogrel, we have not seen any uh, evidence to support a clinical resistance against clopidogrel in East Asians. Thus, we guess there is a, a definite uh, kind of difference between two concepts, laboratory versus clopidogrel, uh, uh, clinical clopidogrel resistance. Thus, uh, uh, we can get a, a kind of extrapolation of clopidogrel efficacy into other ethnicities. When we consider the clopidogrel resistance, we don't have to uh, uh, forget about aspirin resistance also, because uh, when we see the prevalence, prevalence uh, resistance against aspirin or clopidogrel, uh, there is very similar prevalence. In other words, about 19% of the population were resistant against clopidogrel, while about 17% of the population were resistant against aspirin. Thus, uh, we also consider aspirin resistance. Uh, in this uh, context, when we compared aspirin and clopidogrel, uh, clopidogrel was better than aspirin. There's no uh, uh, issue, problem in prescribing clopidogrel or aspirin in uh, Caucasians. Thus, uh, such kind of uh, results may be extrapolatable to uh, Caucasians. Thus, as mentioned before, we try to collect uh, uh, solid uh, results uh, from the longer follow of this core. Thus, we started to collect the POCO and uh, actual death number at the time point of median five-year follow. Uh, with these results, we can get 
uh, more solid uh, uh, conclusion regarding the mortality difference or actual uh, uh, number of primary composite endpoint as well as cost effectiveness between aspirin versus clopidogrel monotherapy. Yeah, there uh, actually uh, there is uh, many uh, physicians who uh, sent me uh, the uh, real question because they have many patients uh, who are under uh, coverage of aspirin as a chronic maintenance period after PCI with DES. Is how uh, do they do uh, now uh, with the results of host exam RCT? Uh, thus, my uh, personal opinion is in the situation of uh, aspirin complication or discomfort on the aspirin monotherapy or uh, clopidogrel price is not so expensive uh, like in UK, you can switch uh, clopidogrel instead of aspirin. But in patients who are really tolerant to aspirin or in a society where uh, clopidogrel price is significantly higher than aspirin, you can continue aspirin. 